how to get a list of all worksheet names in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent trick that will help you to get a list of all the worksheet names you have in your workbook and list them in your preferred location. Let's get started. <laughs> Take a look at this workbook. We have three worksheet names. Let's assume you have more. Uh, let's create a few more worksheet. So now we have several worksheet names here. And in this sheet, worksheets, here I want to make a list of all the existing worksheet names we have in our workbook. So I'm not going to use VBA for this. I'm going to use an excellent trick that will help us to get a list of our worksheet name in any cell or in any range of cell okay for that i'm going to click on the formula tab click on name manager and click on new now i'm going to give a name here i'm going to give a descriptive name here so i'm going to write w o r k s worksheet name list and here in the refers to section i'm going to write formula which is equal to replace and now once I have written the formula, I'm going to click OK. So this is the formula and also I'm going to list this formula in the description for you. So once I have done this, I'm going to click on close. OK, now here I'm going to write another formula. So Once I write the formula in cell C5, I'm going to get all the list of our worksheet name in this column. Let's see how we can do that. Write equal to first I'm going to write index. And in the array section or the first parameter, I'm going to write the name of our name range, okay, which we have written. And here you'll find that worksheet name list. Okay, now I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to write the row function here. And cell reference will be A1, okay. This is our function. Now let's also add if error at the beginning. So whenever we find an error in this formula, we are going to just ignore that and give a blank result. Don't worry, I will also include this formula in the description. So once we have written our formula and I'm going to press enter and you can see this is our first worksheet name which we have here. Now if I drag this, I'm going to get all the worksheet name in this workbook and the rest of them are empty because we don't have any more worksheet name. And as we have added the if error function, so that's why these rows are empty. Now let's say I have added another worksheet, but what if I want to update this range? So I'm going to drag the formula again our new worksheet will be automatically added. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.